So what we have is uh, the mock-up happens to be four foot by four feet. We have a holding tank of water up above, which holds 350 gallons. We'll pull some gate valves, which will dump that water into the surge tank in about five seconds. So there'll be a four foot tidal surge or storm surge on the wall. Now that the camera is installed in the chamber, I'll point out the details. We have a square exterior grade electrical box that has a weather seal on it. Uh, we've got a four inch PVC pipe, uh, one inch galvanized metal pipe uh, with a cap on it. Over here, we've got uh, another PVC electrical box, larger galvanized pipe, and uh, a smaller PVC electrical pipe as well. A few brick tie fasteners, and then the window installation, which is, again, shimmed off the surface of the wall, so the rough opening will get filled up with water. Next, we'll push the surge chamber onto the chamber, uh, clamp it all off, and then pull the gate valves and water will drop down. And we can leave that water for, for an hour, we can leave it there for a month. Airflow and weight, and that's, that's the main measurements we're looking for. And that's what's important to us, is the drying portion of, of that particular mock-up. And recently we've had a few hurricanes blow through and we're starting to find out that the buildings that have our materials and decals on them did extremely well through these hurricanes, which were extreme conditions. And I think the satisfaction of, of the human side of it is the most important to me now that I've experienced it. Number one thing they should know is that a hurricane will hit and they have to plan for it and build for it.